Who needs Tom Brady when you have Steve Weatherford? Oh, yeah. He's here. Mike Woods, Ben Simino. Please. We're going to ask Steve, though, about Deflategate and uh, Tom Brady's reaction coming up in Steve's, Steve's reaction might be a little it's surprising. Interesting, maybe yes. not. Maybe not. Steve Weatherford is sitting here horrified by us. Yes, we'll talk about that <laughs> in a second. Hello, Weatherford. Yes. How are you doing, dear? I'm doing well. You it's have good. an interesting opinion on this, but we'll get to that after you do sports. All right, yes. we'll, we'll knock out the sports, yes. and then I'm going to kind of give you my, my okay. take on Please it. Please do, because it's Which could unusual. be misconstrued as a layman's opinion, because I am only the punter. But I've been around footballs oh, long enough to know. We'll start off with baseball heading into last night's game with the Orioles up in the Bronx. Alex Rodriguez was tied with Willie Mays for fourth place on Major League's Baseball all-time home run list. Bottom of the first, Yanks up 1-0. A-Rod blasts it deep right for what looks to be Homer 661, but Delman Young reaches up and robs him of the hit. Then, in the bottom of the third, game now tied at two apiece. A-Rod goes deep again. This one finds its way over the fence, left center field. A solo home run for Rodriguez, giving the Yanks a 3-2 lead, putting A-Rod in fourth place all tight, all by himself, passing Willie Mays with home run 661. Yankees up 3-2. They hang on to win it, 4-3. Here's A-Rod on his historic hit after the game. A year ago today, I never thought that I would ever get a current call or you know, be hitting in the middle of the lineup for the New York Yankees, uh, helping our team win. Um, or when I started playing baseball at the Boys and Girls Club in Miami when I was nine years old. So um, I wish my father was around to, uh, to see this moment. And the Met, back a guy when man, you say I'll, something like that. I'll, I'll tell you what, he's been through a lot, but he's, he's playing his butt off right now. He's about the only thing we've got as a Yankee fan. Yeah. Well, the Mets had the night off yesterday, and they are in Philadelphia tonight taking on the Phillies. And in the Stanley Cup playoffs, tonight is do or die for the Rangers. Rangers. Game five against the Capitals tonight at the Garden. The Rangers are down in the series three games to one. And in boxing news, it sounds like Floyd Mayweather has had a change of heart. Earlier this week, the boxer, boxer said that fighter Manny Pacquiao following his unanimous victory over Pacquiao last Saturday, but in an interview with Showtime's Jim Gray, Mayweather said he changed his mind because Pacquiao is, quote, a sore loser and he's a coward. Apparently, Mayweather is mad Pacquiao brought up his shoulder injury after the fight with Pacquiao. And Pacquiao underwent surgery Wednesday to repair a torn rotator cuff. He's expected to be out 9 to 12 months. Okay, let's talk about Tom Brady for a second. You just can't wait to I get can't. to it. <laughs> so he says, A, 30 hours after the report comes out that he hasn't had time to digest it. I kind of think that's bull. I'm sure he spent the last 30 hours talking only about that, right? Well, I mean, come I, on. I actually uh, had some insider information, Ben, and um, mm -hmm. leading up to the Super Bowl, Tom Brady, I don't know if you remember, but he had supposedly the flu the, the right. days leading up to the game, and he actually lost seven pounds. But uh, I've got a good friend who had dinner with him and his family in Phoenix the night before the game, and they said it wasn't the flu. He was literally like sick to his stomach with everybody talking about the deflate gate the week leading up to the Super Bowl. So it really bothers him that people's opinion of him thought he was a, a cheater leading into the Super Bowl, and now that he's kind of schluffing it off as, you know, oh, it's not a big deal, we didn't cheat this, that, the other, it, it obviously really bothers him. But for me, uh, as an NFL player and having some experience with the footballs themselves, I know how important it is to have a good football, and a lot. what a lot of people don't understand is the quarterbacks are getting their balls two weeks before every NFL football game. They get time to scrub them in. Work them in, kind yeah, of. Yeah, wipe, wipe the wax off, get them good, and then they give them to the NFL officials, and the NFL officials approve them or disapprove them. So whether or not the ball was deflated, it's the NFL's officials' fault for approving the football. You're it's still, on the lead. They're still he's still trying to sneak it through, though, whether or not, but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, other people do in, but the, in I mean, the league. To me, when people are comparing it to putting pine tar on a baseball or putting Vaseline on a baseball that directly uh, affects the movement of the football and gives the pitcher an advantage right. and the hitter a disadvantage whereas deflating the football catching the football for the offensive players maybe it does make it easier for but it also makes it easier for the defensive players to intercept it let's, let's talk yeah, yeah you, you're a very charitable guy uh, every spring <laughs> you do project prom that's uh, a big event for you I am I've got it. my dancing shoes on for tonight so uh, <laughs> tonight I will be taking 20 kids from Dickinson High School in Jersey City to All prom right. cool. that otherwise could not afford to go so um, I've always wanted to do something 
um, in the community that was different. And I'm very proud of this because I came up with the idea on my own. And this is different than a lot of initiatives, whereas I'm giving these kids something that they're going to have with them for the rest of their life. Oh, it's a life experience. They love you. I mean, Twitter, that you should see the and things people say And it's not like you him. have to twist my arm to go back to prom at 32. Nobody's going to have more fun girls. tonight than I am. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Steve, you are such a charitable guy. You also were at the event last night, uh, Muscle and Fitness event, with uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Dolph Lundgren. Unbutton. Well, yeah, Dolph Lundgren and then uh, the... Uh, <laughs> are you talking about my man, Mike Woods? Yeah, yeah. you said it was warm. In, in the in the it room, was, right? So you're backing him up. A and bit. I'm not I'm not much of a sweater. But did you um, did you unbutton your shirt did you the way you I did not. I, there's I've only got two gears. I'm either fully buttoned or shirts off. And to, or last night I decided to keep the shirt on. Okay. Well, listen. I mean, you know, <laughs> it was if, Muscle if and Fitness. So decision. if I was going to take my shirt <laughs> yeah. off at an event, I might as Thank well have you. done it last night. But you know, Mike Mike was showing a little skin. I'm not mad at him. He works out. He works hard for that. Where was my invite to this event, by the way? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you should have come along. There were a couple handsome cats there last night, Julia. You would have had your pick of the litter. I I can imagine the two of the best right here. Michael, thank you very much. Steve, thank well, you very much. Have fun it, tonight. At yeah, least no one to told me you. to put a sweater on in the middle of the show. Who can't love Mike Woods, though? Who can't? We're really I'm out. a fan, Mike. All the punches. If you had a jersey, thank I'd you. buy it. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let's get you what's going on with the weather. 57 degrees out at 50.